By the end of this video, you will know the value of the 1964 and 64D Jefferson Nickel that you can find in your pocket change that is worth upwards of three or four hundred dollars. As you know, Jefferson Nickels were minted between 1938 and 2003, while nickel varieties based on year and mint number well over a hundred of them, there are only a handful of these that at high grade, they can command huge premiums over face value. These types of coins are often referred to as key, semi-key, and better dates, but there's also a ton of error coins that can be found in the Jefferson Nickel series as well. Let's talk about the 1964 and 64D Jefferson Nickel that are worth really good money. The 1964 and 1964D Jefferson Nickels in average condition are generally worth over five cents at around 15 or 20 cents but ones in high condition and almost mint state condition can sell for really extreme values of 150 to 200 dollars when evaluating the jefferson nickel you might have found in your pocket change you'll want to look at the reverse of the coin and at the steps on the depiction of monticello looking for full steps Full steps is the standard when looking at the reverse of these coins. All lines present would be really clean to the eye. And what you should look for when buying these coins is an incredibly good detail to these steps, but also to the reverse of the coin as a whole. Again, these coins can go anywhere from around five cents in poor condition, so being face value, but generally around 10 or 15 cents, to an upwards of a couple hundred bucks in really good condition. Now, if we're talking about error coins, there are a few different error coins that can be found on 1964 nickels, and those can vary from ones that are more specific to the 1964 nickel, and then also ones that run across the entire gamut of error coins. One is a 1964 nickel struck on a one cent planchet error which would have a reddish tone to its color and is essentially a penny and a nickel combined. So yeah, it's basically a penny that looks like a nickel. These can be worth thousands of dollars, but are of course pretty rare. Another error is the 1964 struck through error, but this would be one of those errors that's common across many different coins. This error is created when a foreign object is introduced to the minting process while a coin is being struck. For example, in this image of a 1964 Jefferson nickel with a struck through air, a piece of cloth was lying on the nickel planchet when it was struck, leaving its impression on the coin. Another notable error is a double strike nickel error. This error occurred when the die struck the planchet two or more times. When the planchet is not properly ejected, it will be struck again, and if the error is not caught, the coin will then be released with the rest of them into the money supply and out to circulation. Notable mentions would be off-center strikes are pretty common across Jefferson Nichols as well, showing up in multiple years. Another thing you can look for as well is there was 3.9 million proofs issued for the 1964 nickel with a P mint mark. These can be worth around $2 each in pretty much any condition and can be worth well over $100 in decent condition. Hopefully this video will teach you a few things about Jefferson Nichols, but most importantly what to look for if you come across the 1964 Jefferson Nickel because you could be sitting on hundreds or thousands of dollars in value if you have a sought after or error coin. Let me know what you think about these coins in the comments below. Check out my website, VarietyErrors.com, for free coin guides and free banknote guides. Other than that, good luck in your coin and banknote searches, and I'll see you in the next video.